I want to shoot this video on how to connect this power supply to this uh, set of four GANs batches. And uh, this power supply is, uh, one of, is a very popular type. I see a lot of people making GANs with these. And uh, it's, a, it's only rated on the current here to go down as low as 1 one hundredth of an amp. See the current is displayed in amps and it says 0, 0.00. And so the lowest value that you can get on the current with this power supply is 1 one hundredth of an amp. And I'll, I'll turn this up a little bit and so you can see okay so that's one one hundredth of an amp now uh, one one hundredth of an amp is really ten milliamps because a milliamp is like one thousandth of an amp so um, it won't show anything less than ten milliamps now I personally like to run my CUO GANs at four milliamps so there is a way to do this there's a way to hook up this power supply to this to this uh, configuration with a multimeter and you can still use it and it's, it'll still work. Next I will show how to connect the multimeter in series with the power supply. Okay so first of all these are the leads the power leads coming out of the power supply and I got the negative lead going to the first batch to the nano coated plate and I got the positive lead going to the last one in the batch here on this black lead coming off the uh, the plain copper plate. Now from from the first to this last one these are all connected in series. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, connect the multimeter in series with this last lead right here. So I'm just going to connect the uh, the black lead of the multimeter to this black uh, uh, the black lead coming off this last uh, batch. And I'm going to connect the positive lead here to this red lead from the uh, multimeter and then I'm going to turn it on to milliamps here okay so here we go so I'm getting a read now I got it at uh, it's it's showing 10 milliamps on the power supply and the actual uh, milliamps is right here it's like 9 or 8.9 right around that neighborhood there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn down the voltage until this goes zero okay and when that's going zero now what's happening is it's showing numbers over here on this multimeter that's lower than 10 milliamps so i'm just going to keep uh, gradually turning that down until i can get that down to right around four okay here we go let's see you're getting pretty close there it is that's right around four milliamps right there so i've got 1.1 volts and uh, that's the closest i can get it pretty much to to four milliamps so anyway, you'll notice here on the power supply, it still says zero. So without the uh, multimeter, there is no way that you'd be able to know if you're getting four milliamps or not, but it, but it is possible to do it. And the, the multimeter is very inexpensive, just like this uh, power supply is pretty inexpensive. So it's not a, a very expensive thing that you have to do. I think I bought this on eBay for around $4 and change. So that wasn't very much. Okay, so... One other thing is that uh, this power supply has two modes, and uh, this is constant voltage right there. This green light lit up on this power supply, it says CV there. That's CV stands for constant voltage. So it's in constant voltage mode. Now, it also has a mode for constant current. So on if the, if the current wasn't so low, you could set it up for constant current and it would make the voltage go up and down uh, according to the needs for the current. But uh, when I try to set it up on these really low currents, uh, this uh, power supply, it, it'll bounce right out of uh, uh, constant current and it'll go right into co uh, constant voltage. It just flips right out. And so uh, what that's telling me is that on these very low currents, the, uh, the, these uh, types of power supplies, they're, they're very unstable and they won't, they won't work on these really low currents. So maybe different power supplies will work on it, but I know this unit doesn't. So I don't know if you're going to have the same experience as I did. So uh, anyway, that's uh, the basic on how to do it. And uh, that's the end of the video.